Are we packed? Nope. Let's go to Europe. We walk in to that view. The clawfoot top of my dream. Look how pretty these are. Like it literally looks like Alice in Wonderland. Because look at all the tea sets. We could see how much a house would be here. <laughs> I don't know, I might have. Good morning guys. Well, kind of almost afternoon now. We've had a very eventful morning. If you can see back there, you can see how eventful it has been. I was on a mission to find art at the flea market today to refresh the house. I, a mission accomplished, over accomplished. I had a problem, I, I ran out of money. And once I ran out of money, I was like, nope, I ran out of cash, I can't buy any more. I think I have enough to make it kind of like refreshed in, in LA in our apartment. So, Romeo just went to get his hair cut down the street, so I found this nail salon because I want to get my nails done for Europe. And I'm getting dip nails so that they last longer and it's a little healthier for your nails than gel, uh, I think. And it lasts longer than gel, I think. Something like that. I'm thinking about doing red. I think it looks a little Parisian, so I'm at this nail salon. Okay, they're definitely more pink than red. <laughs> they're like full on pink. I should have went darker red. This is like more pink, but it looks springy. So it's fine. It's just pink. They look really good though. Like she did a really good job. Now we are on the hunt for an extra large. <laughs> the largest one we can find, babe. Not anything crazy patterns or anything. Gosh, they're all like crazy colors, huh? Oh, like see like a big lightweight expandable. Yeah, no, you want them as lightweight as possible. So. <laughs> I'm all not so many pretty things. This mirror is to die for. Look at that frame. Oh my god. Hey, look at that. Did we call you? Yeah, I almost fell down. I have half my makeup on, but good morning. Today is the day that we go to Europe. I'm so excited. Are you guys excited? We are in the midst of packing, prepping, just doing, ooh, hello, son. Opening the blinds. We are getting ready and we don't leave until tonight. Our flight's not until 8. 30, 8.35 I think. But we are getting to the airport early. I think we're gonna leave around 4.30, which means we'll be at the airport three hours before, which is way more than time. But we're gonna go to the lounge and just, you know, kind of chill out for a while. I'm getting ready early, so I, I, I need to film. I need to do some editing before we leave. It's like 10 a.m. or something like that. How I always travel is when I'm getting ready and I'm putting on my makeup, I pack it right away. So I know exactly what I use. You know, it's I don't have to think about, oh, I need this or I need that. I just put it in the bag right away. When I went to the Philippines the first time, I planned out all my outfits and took pictures. And it was so easy to get ready. We're gonna be constantly on the go. I know no one cares about our outfits, but we care about our outfits, <laughs> you kind of thing. Uh, so we're always gonna be on the go. So I could just look at the picture and be like, I'm gonna wear this outfit today. And as everything's already planned, which is really good. So when we went shopping uh, yesterday to get some more things, I got a travel pack. I'm gonna bring this on the plane with me because it's only two ounces. It's my face wash. Um, I got a travel version of it. They gave me, when I went, they gave me these Ultra uh, Kiehl's Ultra Face Creams. So instead of bringing my moisturizer, I'm gonna bring this. I'm gonna bring two, they gave me three packs. So I'm gonna bring two of these, one for the plane on the way back and one for the plane there. Okay, we're gonna get ready and then we have to run some errands and then we're, I'm gonna come back. Well, you guys, we are leaving for the airport in 40, oh no, 30 minutes. Are we packed? Nope. What we're gathered. So I think gathered is good, which is not in the luggage. So technically we're not packed, but we kind of were working our ways to that. Romeo's running around trying on outfits. I don't even think I have time to do that. I really wanted to do that. Don't think it's gonna happen. We're so busy trying to get everything together to leave. And we're literally on our way to Europe and that is crazy. We're also gonna be like three hours early to the airport or more. The rush of it all. Okay, we have plenty of room to bring stuff back. My carry-on's basically not full, and this isn't full. Only 10 minutes late. Ugh. Let's go to Europe. <laughs> we made it to the airport. Are you excited? Yes! <laughs> this face mask makes me look like a duck.
So put your trust in me We'll work it out, you'll see If we get in a car and drive someplace far London. I have enjoyed everything that's happened to us since 5 p.m. yesterday. It's just been an incredible experience already and we are staying at the most adorable hotel ever. We walk in to that view. You guys, this is a Victorian kind of antique hotel. It's called the Portobello Hotel. Look at this. We're in Notting Hill. Look at this little seating area. Little tea, coffee bar over there. We have a little friend out here. Kitty, 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 kitty. Look at her. Yeah, Garfield. Look at our view. I just can't get over it. Kitty, what are you doing? Look how beautiful all the hardware is on these doors. Come this way. And yes, the room is red. But look. top of my dreams look at this look at this i am in love look at this how amazing is this bathroom and there's little kitty again and then over here you have the obvious things a little bitty shower because who would take a shower when they have this tub i do not know a little sink toilet area and that's it but this room is stunning. I think that's a park right there. So we're gonna go take a walk. hotel I might have ever seen in my life. I think the only wild card here is that all the walls are red, but it works. It's it's just so pretty. When we were researching hotels, I was specifically looking for areas in London with antique shopping, vintage shopping. I looked at like the best places to stay in London um, and kind of went through each area and tried to find an area that was gonna interest us. It's about what a, almost a three mile walk to Buckingham, Buckingham Palace. Mm -hmm. So we're technically in West London on the west side, which we landed in London Heathrow, which is West London. So it kind of worked from the airport and then we start our tour tomorrow and we have to meet them um, about a mile more into central London. Wanted to get to London before we left for our trip, for our tour. We got in yesterday. We got to the hotel around 3 p.m. Had a little bit of work to finish, but we did get to walk around before sunset and just kind of get our bearings. Where we were, kind of window shop. We have a full day, it's early. We have a full day today where we can just explore London and just have so much fun. So we're gonna go eat at the Farm Girl, which is actually an Australian breakfast place, which I guess isn't very London-like, but it's really cute. It's like right here. Then we're gonna go shop all of the vintage and antique shops and then make our way to go sightsee, do the, um, I wanna see Buckingham Palace and Big Ben. Something really dumb I did. I did currency exchange and I got all euros. I don't know why I thought that every country we were going to used Euro, but London does not. So I tried to pay the cab yesterday in Euros and he's like, that's not pounds, that's Euros. And I was like, ooh. <laughs> I just, I didn't even think about them being different. I don't know. Also forgot my hairbrush. So I have been brushing my hair with this clip for like the last 20 minutes. It's probably not great for my hair either. It's probably breaking it. We have to find a hairbrush today too. Look at the, look at this. You guys. This makes me really excited for the doors, the salvage doors that I'm gonna put in the house because they're more raw. This makes me very excited for that. Are you ready? Ready. Let's go eat. Hi. 
But look at this one. Oh, they don't have any. Look how pretty this would be for the coffee pantry. This oh, so dinosaur like eggs. Yeah. Look how pretty these are. <gasps> I love them. I'm gonna get them. They are 12 pounds each. I don't know. <laughs> More, more than that US. <laughs> Love those. I think that they're gonna be really good in the coffee bar, coffee pantry kind of thing that I'm doing, but we'll see. I think if I could use them for anything, like a DIY or a some, something. They're a little large, so I wonder where it's gonna go, but we'll see. Okay, we, we drove by this place yesterday. It's called Alice's. Like it literally looks like Alice in Wonderland, because look at all the tea sets. <gasps> Isn't that pretty? They have so many, huh? Oh, precious. Precious, 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 precious. Cute. I'm obsessed. Oh my, oh my God. Oh look, these are like the ones that are in our hotel room. Oh, here's some teas. Born to be wild. That's a good fade on that. Whatever that is. Oh, I, I really like that for you. That looks so nice. We could see how much a house would be here. <laughs> These look like a leasehold apartments. Look at this. Holland Park. Share a freehold. I don't know what that means. Two double bedrooms with handcrafted wardrobes, two ensuite bathrooms, large reception room with high ceilings, fully fitted kitchen, separate washer and dryer, wood flooring, 3.25 million pounds. That's nice. So some of the vintage places that we had seen, like the antique stores that we had seen last night, uh, we're still closed, but they're doing a lot of construction on Portobello Market, Portobello Road right there. So I think maybe it's going to continue until next week. So maybe that's why they were closed. Or maybe they're closed all the time. I don't know. We are going to go do some sightseeing. We did, but we did find you some stuff. Yeah, just yeah. Some cool stuff. I got two, I got two sweaters. Yeah. yeah, so we did find some stuff and I got some doorknobs. Those are so pretty. And I may go back for some mugs at that Alice in Wonderland place. Oh, now we're walking through. I don't know if it's all called Hyde Park or this is, I don't know why I want to say Kensington Park, but basically going sightseeing we are on our way we're walking the about three miles from our hotel to buckingham palace and the marble arch flowers are all blooming it's gorgeous wait the cutest ice cream it's so cute yeah so there's not it's just old school so pretty just a cute little house the marble arch kind of i don't know what they're doing here but it's kind of like under construction look at the big old lights <laughs> i know the gates are huge we made it buckingham palace I see one guard right there. Wonder what time changing of the guards are, is. Wow, look at the gate. 
That's incredible. Why did I think that the guards wore red? Did you think that the guards were red? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's doing this. So the changing of the guards was today. It was Wednesday, but it was at 11 a.m., so we missed it. But he, I didn't realize that there were different regiments for the guards, and they have different buttons and different colored plumes on their caps on different sides. How much have we walked? Six miles. We've walked six miles today so far. Six miles, 14,000 steps. 14,000 steps so far. All day, we haven't had data, like service on our phone, so we've had no idea where we're at. We've just been wandering, but now we're on bikes. So we're gonna take our bikes to Big Ben and Westminster Abbey, and then we can dock our bikes all the way back and then go shopping closer and eat dinner. We've had the best day. It is the best weather here. Balance is the windows close to fear 